In Luzerne County, some folks are left with a lot of questions after concerns after learning that the only grocery store in the area is closing. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strew found it's just the latest closure people in Shikshini are dealing with. One, two, three restaurants are closed along Main Street in Shikshini. This curry donuts just as of last week. Yeah, it's just a shame. It really is. Yeah, well, like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with the economy and stuff and with the market here. Now, according to employees, the only grocery store in the borough, this Thomas's family market food town, is set to close at the beginning of next month, adding to the list of shutdown businesses. And I'm going to have to go all the way into Berwick to go grocery shopping and get stuff because there's not going to be anything to be able to run down here to get. It probably could have something to do with retreat, but I think one of the biggest issues is uh, flood. He's talking about the flood of 2011 that wiped out a lot of homes and businesses, leaving a smaller amount of customers. Management was not available to speak with Newswatch 16 about why the grocery store is closing, but people who live here hope this doesn't mean an end to a grocery store in this neighborhood. Hopefully something will come in there. Hopefully a Wises or maybe even a Giant or something will come down this way. For, the, for yeah, for everybody, especially for the people who live in the senior apartments across the street. During the 2011 flood, CVS was the only one that was selling stuff, and people. I just left the high rise because we gave a talk at the high rise, and a lot of those people on the high rise they end up having to go to CVS to buy milk, and it was like six dollars a gallon. Business leaders, including Jim Bach, say this number of closures is upsetting. But a reality, Shikshini is not alone in. Well, it, it's very difficult, and in these circumstances, with the way everything is, with the way money is and stuff, it is tough. I'm also president of the business association, so it hurts me when I see these businesses close and stuff. But, you know, we're not alone. If you go to some of the other small towns, they've lost a lot of their businesses as well. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.